I were open. Serena. Serena went through the Dallas Sports. And then I had asked Darius in the walk up about his 41 points, 21 in the fourth quarter. I think he just said it's because his teammates kept him going, kept pushing him. Like, what is it like to play alongside a guy with that mentality? Um, it's great. I mean, have a point guard like that, I can uh, score the ball and also finish uh, my dimes. It it's makes the game super easy. Um, you can just rely on him uh, when it comes down to the wire uh, for a bucket or assist, anything. Um, it's very, really just makes the game easy. So, What was it like for you, you know, getting the role so much versus, you know, Hawk when you've got J.A. and, and to kind of be that role man alongside Darius and play that teammate game? Uh, it was fun. Um, it was like back to old days. Uh, I used to play five a good amount. So um, just going out there, filling a role that's uh, missing right now. Um, and really just trying to provide for my team. And then how did you notice the attention that he was able to draw in the fourth quarter, uh, especially when they're sending multiple bodies at him and you guys have made a space before? How did you notice that uh, help, help your game? Uh, it helps a lot. I mean, he's drawing that much attention. Uh, makes the defense shift all the way over and uh, leaves open uh, a lot of guys to so be our shooters as well. So, Did you feel good passing over the chain to uh, Lamar Stevens tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Lamar came out here and was a dog, and that's why he got the chain. Chris, Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. There is for you. Um, they start sending multiple guys at you. Sometimes they picked you up like right as you crossed half court, late in the fourth quarter. How did you combat that to, to still be able to get yours? Just trying to find an open man. Uh, I was able to set the screen, so I mean, I know I can hit him. He can make the right play, so it was easy to just get off the ball. And then for you, being that you're from Gary, 150 miles away from this arena, does it mean more to you to have a career night here? Yeah, it's super cool. Uh, if I'm back home, but most importantly, in the win. Uh, and then just having a career night, it was, it was cool. Uh, all I can ask for, really, uh, with family in the stands. Uh, it's crazy because my mom and dad and my niece, my brother, are supposed to be here tonight. So, uh, I mean, it's cool. They're probably watching at home. So, um, yeah, I'm super happy about it. You said they weren't supposed to be here? You said they were supposed to be here. They, they didn't come yet. So how many people did you have here? About? Uh, like 15, 20. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Kelsey. Kelsey, the athletic. Um, Darius, you joined some um, elite company tonight with this your forty-one point game. Um, with like a, with uh, James, the last time LeBron James had a forty-one point game with the Cavs in uh, twenty eighteen. What does it just mean to you, just to kind of join that company um, in Cavs history um, as you've made this jump this year? Um, it's super cool. Uh, it's a blessing. Uh, I just give all the praise to my teammates, coaches. They give me the confidence to go out there and do what I do. So um, I got to take my hat off to them. Um, I mean, just out there trying to do my job. That's it. And how have you seen in your game be able to, like, when you start games off, you're finding guys, you're facilitating um, and dishing out assists. And then as the game goes on, like, you finding your shots. Like, especially tonight, you had, like, 31 points in the second half. But just how have you seen that grow over the season of being able to just kind of read um, as, you know, as defenses are, are changing against you and everything? Uh, just trying to pick my spots, uh, try to get my teammates going early, uh, just to see how the game is going, see who's making shots. And then the second half, they need me uh, just being aggressive, uh, just being in attack mode and just trying to find the right play to make. Thank you. Could uh, either one of you just discuss the resiliency of that fourth quarter? You had to rebound twice from there after that 10 0 run and just getting the sealing the deal without uh, without Jared in there, too. Um, all of us really just try to step up. Uh, I mean, we just try to win the dog fight. Uh, we know it's going to be a dog fight, especially in the fourth, we're down. And we just really try to come to play and uh, get the win. Marla. Marla Rodnour, Akron Beacon Journal. Yeah, Darius, I'm just curious why your family didn't come. The hotel room's too expensive or? <laughs> just... uh, uh, 
<laughs> road games, every time they come to a road game, we lose. So my mom is like super, super superstitious. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the only reason. We talked about it last night, and I was, I was kind of mad that they didn't come actually after the game. And I'm just curious when um, Evan made that lob to um, Dean Wade, did you feel like he was stealing your job? No, um, Ev does it all. So, I mean, whatever he wants to do, we're going we to move with it. It's the rookie of the year right here. He can do what he wants. And um, did you say anything to Lamar, you know, after he got the chain, just, you know, about the block shot and how big, you know, just how big was that? Yeah, we definitely talked about the block. Uh, I mean, that helps our defense. It was, I mean, it was great. Um, I mean, we, we expect that for more. Uh, that dog chain, that thing. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but the chain, <laughs> the chain, I mean, that's, that represents him. So uh, glad that we got it. Glad that he got the third one. Um, just happy to have him. Happy to have a dog like that on our team. Thank you. Joji. Uh, uh Evan, uh, you mentioned a couple weeks ago about uh, the rookie wall being basically a mental thing. Uh, you haven't hit it, and in fact, you've kind of hit another gear. How have you been able to do that uh, when most rookies are slowing down at this point? Um, just, I mean, I know it's a big stretch coming out uh, before playoffs, so um, we're just really just fighting and trying to get the uh, best team we can um, to get in the playoffs. And that's really what I've just been focusing on, just trying to get wins and um, doing what I can for the team. Um, that's uh, these last few games has been the end result of that. And then how's the adjustment been uh, with Lowry's, you know, sliding over to the uh, board next to you? Uh, they had a big game too, but how has that changed uh, just the way you've been playing or you played tonight? Um, I feel like uh, it was like a pretty seamless uh, shift. Um, I didn't really feel too different out there on the floor. I still felt comfortable and everything. So, um, and we all are pretty much interchangeable. Um, so, it was pretty easy to um, just shift down a position for both of us. Thank you. Nathan. Nathan Addison, BVM Sports. For Evan, how have you adjusted to the uh, physicality throughout the season? Um, I just stayed in the weight room um, and just really be prepared for the contact. Um, that's uh, being like getting hit and stuff, uh, just being prepared for it and um, going out there and just taking it to them instead of uh, letting them uh, come and uh, hit me first. So um, <laughs> I'm just trying to go out there and uh, really just attack. And for, De and for, and for Darius, uh, in terms of a leadership standpoint, for you, how have you been able to navigate, you know, this team, given that you guys are on the rise with the record that you have? Um, just trying to stay level with um, We haven't had success like this in a long time, uh, especially in the last two years that I've been here. So just trying to change everything, change the culture around. Um, and then just have the same confidence as we get better, as we grow. And, um, I mean, just – just keep playing our brand of basketball, really. It's really easy for us. We all low headed, we all humble, and we know we got a lot of work to do. So so keep working and try to get better. Both our last two gentlemen here standing and then Chris. Curious for you, I know you're Gary Native, got it tatted on you. Um, what does it mean to come back to your home state and have a good game like this? Can you explain your Gary roots to people who might not know? Um, born and raised in Gary, Indiana. Um, I call it home. Um, I mean, my people still live there, so I go back often. But I mean, just coming here to have a game like this is cool. Uh, a lot of family in the stands, so super blessed to be here. Chris, Evan, for you, Darius has called you the rookie of the year. Kevin Love has called you the rookie of the year. Everybody on this team has called you the rookie of the year. Do you think you should be rookie of the year? Um, I'm really just trying to. Um, get wins out here. I'm not really focused on that award right now. I'm just trying to really play for playoffs and seeds. So um, I'm not really focused on that. I'm just trying to do what's best for our team and um, get uh, as good and um, get better every single game, really. So.
And with Jared out and you having to shift to the five, have you talked to him about that? Has he given you any kind of pointers about that in the last couple of days since the injury? Uh, no, I haven't really talked to him much. Uh, he's been dealing with his stuff. So um, I just went out there and um, really did what I, I normally do. Um, and mostly it wasn't really a change because in practices and stuff, we switch off and um, sometimes I run his position as well. So I know um, most, most everything that he does. So it was pretty easy to uh, switch. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys.